Dreamcatcher will lead you to her. And then? Misanga will lead me to you. We're going in like that? Yeah, I don't need a weapon. I'm not gonna take Lou either. Satisfying, right? No, probably not. Oh. Got you hooked, huh? First it looked gross, and now it's delicious. Sam, be careful. Worst comes to worst. Take care of Lou, all right? Emily? Sam? What are you doing here? Uh, we're choking her. You ready to end this? Before the end of everything? supposed to do keep the extinction entity safe until the slate is wiped clean there's no stopping the sixth extinction no matter what you me or anybody else does humanity has a few hundred thousand years left tops why don't we just cut to the chase accept our fate that the creatures before us we all know what's coming why delay the inevitable? Those of us with dooms, her, we're all bound here for a reason. We are all of us a part of the death strand. In this place, this fucking beach. There's no repatriation here. Us dies. That's it. He goes to the other side. It's nice. Huh? Lucky loser gets to put an end to this rinse and repeat bullshit once and for all. So, no BTs, no void outs, no bullshit. Just a good old fashioned boss fight. Stick versus rope. Gun versus strap. One more ending before the end. One last game over. I am the particle of God. Come on! Chris. Don't have any 
weapons on me? Nope. Need I can get behind them. Oh, he's doing that thing that uh, the mules do. I'm out of here. Right here, then. Oh. Great. Maybe What's I should move from this spot. Sam? Racking your brain to think of a better way. Well, there ain't one. Right. Fight like a man. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Something I remembered. You could throw your packages. <laughs> Oops. Where'd he go? Oh, he's over there. He's over there. Hey, oh. no. Over here. These things are lying on the ground. Still right there? Nope, he's gone. Oh, nope, he's still right there. Nope. Spy sensor stingling. Oh. Okay, wait. Oh, oh, wow. An ending, that's what. Right, great. Oh. Kinda missed right there. Got a punch in there. Okay. At least I can recover health with this. Right there. <laughs> uh, I mean, I had to stop you. I had to stop you, so I had to interrupt you. I mean, we're not here to talk. We're here to fight. Okay, is he gonna reload? Oh, wow. It's <laughs> Batar's slowing me down. Batar's slowing me down. Get on over here and take a move. Show some dignity. I think I have one more snack. Okay. Let's smack you with this case right here. Once in your goddamn life, make the smart play. And if you can't, then let's dance already. Gotcha. Wow. I don't need the gun, Sam. I can beat you. I can beat you! Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's slicing me. Oh, jeez. 
Not yet. Okay, there we go. Oh, run, run, run. We've got all the time in the world. If you don't mind, I'll Okay, another one over there. Get a couple more bites out. Uh, let me get. Let me get a weapon. Let's see if you stop your teleporting first. Oh, there we go. Oh, missed that last one. Okay, come on. I hate that stupid teleport trick. Jeez, what am I doing? Ugh. Oh, come on, stop with that. Jeez, oh, stop it. Okay, well, that stopped me at least. Not yet. If it was. <laughs> well, let me do this to recover some health. Oh, come on. You miss me? Jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh. Try to go with a kick. Oh, yeah. Come on! Great. 
another part to this. Oh wow. They're uh, going with the MGS4 uh, type boss fight. Uh, fight. Yeah, uh, Old Snake and Ocelot. Just a straight up brawl right there. It's like no CQC, just a, it's just a straight up brawl. Oh, myself out. <laughs> square, I'm pressing square. Not the ocelot trap. Come on, no. Oh, great. I couldn't hold out. <laughs> oh, my god. Oh, wow. I guess Kojima revisited, uh, had to use that, uh, sequence from MGS4. Kojima might, might have should have done a fight again.
my fight started. You gotta survive it, you gotta survive it. You gotta survive it. You gotta survive it. Someday you go through the rain. And someday you flee. I'm a tree frog. It's so deep. Gotta run these punches right here. Headbutt. Oh, no. Extension blow right there. Did not think he was going to do this one again. <laughs> Feely there, Mr. Often Phobia. <laughs> well, congratulations. You won the game. Not the entire game. This time you were the one who's going to break. Is that right? I think you'll find our bond is made of stronger stuff. Your damaged goods. Ah, uh, see. Uh, oh well. Again, can't always get the highest scores or the higher ratings. <laughs> At least with uh, how I perform in some uh, levels or games.
There you go. That's the promise. Thanks. I brought you a metaphor. Which one? Trophy? Or memorabilia? Take it with you. Tell the lie first with Porter Syndrome what happens when you hide behind the mask. No. You keep it. It's better they hear it from the woman herself. One more thing. Your little one managed to bring it here by picturing it as equipment. You mind? Babysitting sucks. So where should I send you? Back east? He doesn't need your help. He's got the Chiral Network. And he's got me. We can jump east together. Lucky him. We appreciate everything you've done for us. We really do. But we're good for now. Besides, I'm sure they need you back at Fragile Express. Yeah. Better to scoop up all the pieces and put them back together. I wouldn't want to settle for anything less than perfection. Fragile. We're square. Nothing owed. Nothing left to say. So long, Sam. Come on. Let's go. We still have work to do. still believe in me? Even without Higgs, I am a walking time bomb. I can end it all just like that. But what I want, what I have always wanted was to be a part of it. For us all to be one. What? Tell me the truth. Is this all for you or all for Bridget? This is for our country. For our future, that is the truth. There's something that you need to know, Sam. When you were back east, I slipped out of here and I went to visit you. What? Did you lie? Fuck me. You have any idea what it took for me to get here? You wouldn't have come if I hadn't. You didn't care about America or bridges. But we did know one thing you did care about. Something you were willing to cross a continent for. A reason to build the UCA. It was Die Hard Man's idea. Great. So I'm Mario and you're Princess Peach. <laughs> wow. Are oh, you right? I never gave a shit about this country. I have no ties to anything or anyone but you. I'm so sorry, Sam. But it all worked out in the end. Well, I guess that's taken care of. I know you have questions, but can you save them for after? Sure. Let's go home. How do we do it, do we 
jump like fragile? No. The beach goes the whole way. We run together. Run? Yeah. Like Mario and Princess Beach. Beach? Not Peach. <laughs> Took out the heels, right? No. Hacha! Let's -a go. <laughs> oh wow! Look at him smiling. Busting up face as well. <laughs> Wait here, okay. soldiers Jojo. Remember. I'm sorry. Because he was also I'm there so in the flashback. Sorry.
probably makes a sacrifice right there. A golden strand or whatever. Swim upwards. Oh, oh, repatriate. Amelie to thank for that. Where is she? We don't know. She didn't head back east? No, but after she saw to you, she contacted HQ and left us a message. Saying what? I'm going to finish what Bridget started. Just that, and then gone. Bridget? I saw Bridget on the beach. Sam, please. You yourself burned her body, remember? She wouldn't have remained on the beach. Couldn't have. Not even if it was her daughter's beach. Check the logs. You've got them, don't you? Sorry. We didn't get any of it. The only record we have is the one in your head. What else do you remember? I got Clifford. Herself, too. Cliff. He took Die Hardman hostage. The director? That part you believe? Well, it would explain why we haven't heard from him for so long. Always suspected him, but now I'm starting to piece together a different narrative. Something's been bothering me, you see. We've been operating on the assumption that Higgs was controlling Cliff, but that can't possibly be correct because Higgs is gone and Cliff is still causing trouble. You think Cliff is the mastermind? Yes. He's likely holding Amelie and the director captive on the beach. And that's where I'm going. Wait a minute. Where's Fragile? She's safe here with us. But so long as you're over there, she won't be able to send you to the beach. What? Uh, you must understand, Sam. While you were unconscious, the situation changed quite a bit. We'll explain everything. I promise. But first, you should rest. All right? Fuck rest. I'm going back to that beach. And little Lou doesn't need a break either, I take it? He looks like he got a break. us extend the chiral network from coast to coast and you dealt with Higgs the UCA's enemy number one we couldn't have come this far without you but there is still one final step we have to swear in a new president and establish a functioning government only then will America be whole again why don't you save that shit for someone who cares I've done my part fuck America We've got bigger problems now. I hear you, Sam. Government is the least of our concerns at this point. Cliff has Amelie, which means there may not be anything left to govern come tomorrow. If tomorrow comes at all. Then why aren't we out there doing something about it? I don't care what she is, only that we get her back. Right you are. Rescuing Amelie and averting the sixth extinction are one and the same. But neither will be possible unless you first come back east. We are in no position to give you orders, of course. But believe me when I say, it is the only way. Sam, everyone's here but you. Fragile transported us back to headquarters. You okay? Uh, never been better. Oh. Oh. Delivering so many people in such a short amount of time is... Yeah. Mama, no, no lock net. Yeah, I'm here too. Figured I should lend a hand. We're all waiting for you, Sam. 
No way in hell am I hauling myself all the way back there. Come on, Fragile. Let's do this. I can't, Sam. And not just because I'm a wreck. It isn't safe to use the beaches to move people anymore. Chiral spikes have become far more frequent. Possibly as a result of expanding the network nationwide. Too many beaches sharing the same space, wires get crossed and so forth. You can see the toll it's taking on the network itself. With things the way they are, it's too dangerous to risk jumping through a beach. Even if I reach a beach, there's no telling where I'll come out on the other side. And I could get stuck in there. That's why I can't go to you either. But if I could get to the entrance of the beach, I should be able to get you there. The beaches are still there after all. I can personally attest to that. So yeah, you will need to hold yourself all the way back here. But once you have, I promise I'll take you to Amelie. Straight to her beach. The two of you share a very special connection. Your dream catcher, her kipu. They are no mere trinkets. They are singular, irreplaceable totems, embodiments of your shared memories. Two sides of a coin. The price of entry to her beach. Dream catchers are a product of Native American tradition, that of the Ojibwe people, to be precise. They were said to ward off nightmares, to alter one's dreams. If Dooms is indeed Armony's gift to us, her shared dream of our future, Perhaps your totem is an invitation to change it, a test, challenging you to find hope amid their hopelessness. While we await your return, I'll search the beach for Harmony and the director. I doubt my ties to them are strong enough, but better that than sitting around doing nothing. I'll see if I can't find something in the records on the three of them. Maybe they're more connected than we know. We're waiting for you. The way home should be easier. Right? Hurry back east. You already know the way. And when you get here... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Finders keepers. Now, get out of there. And make sure you head east. Towards Lake Knot City. There's no cargo to deliver this time. Or rather, you're the cargo. That's the mission. Gross. Gross. I mean, we were eating those not too long ago. Well, at least it's a good thing I don't have to go all the way back. For some stupid reason, I thought I had to go all the way back. Alright, so I'm gonna save and then continue some other time. Later. Okay, so I guess I gotta go all the way back. Well, not entirely. I think it's back to South Knot City. <laughs> yeah, I know. Let's just get this on the road. On the road. Uh, let's just get this uh, started then. I guess another loopy flashback. Loopy uh, blue flashback. <laughs> Circumstances 
may be affected in unpredictable ways. Okay. It looks like my exoskeleton uh, got unequipped again. Uh, struggle marine. Kind of, except this isn't the kind of marine you want to get uh, uh, splashed by. Splashed by just when it's covered. surrounding his death are not entirely clear. I'm beginning to suspect that these battlefields of his are at least partially sustained by his enduring emotional attachments. Anger, resentment, regret. I'm pretty sure it's got something to do with the BB experiments. That much seems clear given his repeated attempts to steal Lou. Cliff seems to be driven by a compulsion to reclaim our BB, as if that will make him whole again. A compulsion so powerful that he was not only able to drag himself from the depths of hell, but bring a piece of that hell along with him. One thing's for sure, he's nothing like a BT. We need to know the whole story about his death and his connection to the BB experiments. I'll keep digging and let you know what I find, Sam. And here I thought... He was just a misunderstood man who just wanted to get back his son. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, he kind of uh, treats this little baby like it's his son or whatever. Kind of much like uh, Sam here. Even though I don't think Sam's willing to kill people just to get back a baby. Okay. Oh! Ouch. Sorry about that. <laughs> Just a little fall. Be nice if someone It's not like I know how scheduling works <laughs> in this profession, in this world. I found. 
It's about the BB experiments, their true purpose. According to official records, they were continued in secret on the order of President Strand. Mm -hmm. Supposedly with the primary objective of developing PT detectors and preventing void outs. Any advancements that could be applied to the fields of chiral communications and beach research were meant to be of purely secondary benefit. But it turns out, that's just a cover story. The truth is, Sam, BBs were originally conceived as catalysts for the operation of the chiral network. They're integrated into the infrastructure of not cities for that very reason. Every single one you've brought into the fold. It was probably Amelie herself who installed them as she moved west with the first expedition, carrying out her mother's grand plan, making sacrifice after sacrifice on the altar of progress. President Strand told the people what they wanted to hear and did what she thought had to be done. Also, America could be whole again, and I'm starting to wonder if it didn't cost her her soul. The chiral network is our greatest creation, our proudest achievement, and our guiltiest sin. I don't know how to feel about it all. Maybe if we knew more about Cliff and the BB experiments, we'd be better placed to judge. I'll be in touch. Okay, we got the plot. Oh. Oh, great. It's my stick acting up. Okay, let me check. Tilted slightly left. Seems good. Is it the game then? <laughs> I really don't want to talk bad about the game just yet. No, not that I want to ever do that. Oh, talking yourself now. Uh, but yeah, the plot thickens. I was about to say, uh, <laughs> I guess that explains the woman in the mask. Or maybe it was, uh, Amelie. No, no she was trapped in the, uh, beach, right? Kind of getting a little more interesting. <laughs> or maybe with cliche the whole uh, finding out that maybe your loved ones or the person that you trust was doing something behind uh, your back as well as the back of others. Oh, that was 
say that I am. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm out of their territory at least. Oh, wow. Yep. And I practically depleted most of my stamina. Oh, codec. Hey Sam, I see you're coming up on Lake Nun. Stay strong. We're all rooting for you to finish the job and come home safe. By the way, I've made more progress in a certain investigation. Hmm. It seems that Clifford Unger willingly put his own child in the care of the scientists conducting the BB experiments. But he did so completely unaware of their true intentions. This is pure speculation. But I think when Cliff found out about their plans, he attempted to reclaim custody. And after he failed, the BB remained in the program's care. In which case, he would have every reason to bear a grudge towards the president, the woman who allowed it all to happen, don't you think? But just because President Strand is dead, doesn't mean his hate died with her. No, I think he redirected it towards Bridges towards you and Amelie and anyone close to the director. And now that hate is driving him to set in motion the last stranding, to bring an end to the world as we know it. Why else would Cliff hold Amelie hostage on the beach? He must know that she's an EE. -E. There's no time to lose. You have to save her and the director. Though I still don't understand how he managed to travel to her beach in the first place. There must be more to their relationship. I'll see what I can find. Uh, while you do that, I will try to get back over there. Oh, that was uh, then I'm probably gonna get sucked up, uh, sucked up into that storm. Got a moment, Sam? It's about the director. So there's no way he could have made the jump to Amelie's beach if they didn't share a strong personal connection, right? Well, mm. I looked, and I couldn't see one. The network should have contained something, anything, but there was nothing whatsoever. His entire life prior to his tenure with Bridges has been redacted. His name, his past, everything. There's no telling who he was. Which led me to consider another possibility. What if it isn't the director and Amelie who have a connection, but the director and Clifford Unger? And what if that connection is what facilitated the director's jump to Amelie's beach? If it's those two who have a personal history, then it might explain why Cliff is holding the director hostage as well. But even if that were the case, it doesn't answer the bigger question. How the hell did the two of them end up on Amelie's beach? Sam, Hartman here. There's something else I'd like you to consider. A guess, albeit an educated one, concerning Cliff's objective. Somehow, with the aid of the chiral network, our individual beaches have begun to coalesce, resulting in the formation of a single, massive seam. Should this process continue, there is a risk that BTs will flood across into our world, bringing about a death stranding on a heretofore unprecedented scale. Now, Clifford Unger's battlefields and my own beach appear to be unaffected by this phenomenon, existing entirely in isolation. They do not and have never intersected with others. But what if there were another class of beach, one that exists on a higher plane, that was responsible for setting this process in motion? And what if the beach in question were none other than Armonies? Cliff may have summoned the director, but I believe his true aim was to seize control of Armelie's beach. To exploit its power over every other beach. And trigger the last stranding. It's the only rational explanation for Cliff's actions. Which is why you have to stop him. If Hartman's right, then we're in serious trouble. Using the chiral network in Armelie's beach to trigger the last stranding? That's why Higgs went after Amelie, wasn't it? If it was Cliff who put him up to it. Yeah, it all fits. With the last stranding, he'll finally have his revenge against the world that stole his life and his child. 
You've got to stop him, Sam. You've got to make the jump to Amelie's beach as soon as possible. Get in and get her back. It's our only hope. If you can't, then we're all doomed. Station on the way over here, but I guess oh, I was in such a hurry. There we go. Oh, 